Papua New Guinea declares state of emergency after 16 killed in pay protest riots. Prime Minister suspends officials amidst calls for resignation. Stay tuned for ongoing coverage on BGN World Updates. Papua New Guinea declares state of emergency after 16 killed in violent protests over police pay. Prime Minister suspends officials amidst chaos, 14-day state of emergency enforced. In response to a police and public sector strike over a pay cut, Papua New Guinea's Prime Minister, James Marape, has declared a 14-day state of emergency. The initially peaceful protests escalated into violence, claiming 16 lives and prompting the suspension of top officials, including the chief of police. Television footage captured thousands in the streets of Port Morrisby, looting and carrying stolen goods, while black smoke billowed over the capital. Nine people were killed in Port Morrisby, and seven in Lai, the gold and copper mining nation's northern region. Prime Minister Marape emphasized the need for a review to understand the root cause of the riots, stating, there was evidence of organized rioting that took place. He assured the deployment of 1,000 military personnel to prevent further unrest and secure democracy. Despite relative calm returning to the capital, reports of violence in various parts of the country persist, prompting concerns. Chinese citizens faced injuries, and Chinese-owned stores were vandalized and looted, prompting the Chinese Tonight, embassy's confirmation. The unrest stemmed from a police strike following the discovery Riot of a pay reduction, with the government the denying the social media claims of a new tax on police. Australia, closely monitoring the situation, emphasizes the importance of calm and has not received requests for assistance. Calls for Prime Minister Marape's resignation, including from former Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, have emerged, describing the events as the darkest day in the country's history. The situation remains fluid as authorities work to restore order and address the underlying issues that led to the violent protests.